everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I've got this really cool interlocking Moroccan style gift box. Um, interlocking seemed the best way to describe it because it's a very similar way to how you would fold and, and close like a cardboard box if you were packing up a box or something. Um, and you can see there, just when I go around, how it all kind of interlocks over each other. So I'll just bring it up here. You can see all the detail I've done on the top there. So this is using all the products, um, apart from the green card, from this month's um, hobby base kit that I receive. So every Wednesday I do a hobby base um, tutorial and some kind of project for you. So I've done this really cool box. Um, the box was called um, A Taste of Morocco. Um, and I just loved it. It's got some really, really cool bits in it this week, um, this month, sorry. And I shared the unboxing tutorial last week and I'll share that up here somewhere um, just so you can have a look. And if you are interested, all the links as always are all shared in the video description below. So it just opens up any old way that you want. You just pull it up like that. And then inside you've got a really nice roomy three by three by four and a half gift box. And then again, you'd put, so anyone, put one down, that one over the top, that one over the top, and then the very last one, you then pop in like so. So it's really, really easy. Obviously you can add sentiments on it, you could put ribbon around it, you know, there's lots and lots of ways to, um, to make this box look fab. So let's crack on and make it. You are going to need, so this is some of the stuff that we got in the kit. So this was the Crafter's Companion foil that I'm gonna be using to make these little detailed dies on top there. You get two metre roll, it's really good. So I'm gonna be using that and show you how I do that today. Using these embellishments that we received. So it's 120 of these gold, really lovely, like faceted um, little gems. And then we got these three um, Moroccan designed dies. And I used uh, this one in the middle uh, for that design. So I think I'm gonna use this one here today just to make them a little bit different. And I'm going for a purple theme. So the purple card is my own. And then this was another one of these. So we got, I think we've got eight pieces of six by six cards. We've got lots this month. Um, and then there's this one here, which has got this kind of gold. You can just see it kind of catching there, running through the purple. So I thought again that would work really well and then this one is like a slightly embossed and you can see the slight raised parts so they're really textured papers as well um, which is great. So this is six by six and then I've got this card here as well. Let me just grab my scoreboard so I can give you all the measurements. Okay so six by six piece for the main base of your gift box and then two pieces of four and a half by six and a half okay and I'll do the scoring in a second and then I've just got some white card um, I've already die cut two of these here I'm going to do two more with you um, and some double-sided um, tape you could always also always you could also use this instead just double-sided tape roll i've got double-sided sheets here as well so i'll show you um, what we do with that in a minute so scoring first of all with your six by six piece you just want to score on each side at one just come down a bit there at one and a half inches so one and a half one and a half one and a half one and a half. Okay, this is a really thick card, so I'm just breaking down the fibres there just so it doesn't crack. And then you, with both of these pieces here, so first of all, along the four and a half inch side, you want to score at one and a half, then rotate it, and you want to score at um, half an inch. <laughs> Do you know, I was just looking then, and nothing was, nothing was like reaching my brain. I was just literally staring and nothing was going up, never mind. Okay, so half an inch and three and a half inches. Uh, and again with that other one, so it was scoring at one and a half, then rotate and score at uh, half an inch and three and a half. So you wanna make sure that that, half, that one and a half inch line there is at the top, towards the top of your card, all right? So it's at the top end here. So you're scoring your half inch and your three and a half. You don't want to do it that way so it's at the bottom. Okay? Although it probably wouldn't happen matter because we just flip the card around, so 
ignore me don't know what's wrong today right so that is all of the scoring done so I'm just going to get rid of my scoreboard okay so let's work on the base first of all so you just want to burnish all of your score lines like so and then grab your scissors and you just want to cut down so choose a side and just cut all the way down to the first score line and again like so okay so you can see what I just done there then rotate the whole thing round and again just cut down like so okay then what you want to do is with the outside of each of these squares that we've just made here these little one and a half by one and a half you just want to take a notch off the outer side like so another one like that rotate the whole thing round and again like so you see I've taken quite a quite a chunk off I'd say it's about a quarter of an inch in because basically now when we bring that round because this isn't reinforced when we stick that on the side there like that you don't get anything overhanging you can see there where we've gone down so you don't get that poking up outside here because you're going to see all of this um, so it just gives you a nice neat finish and then that will be covered by this when we stick it inside so now we can just grab some of our glue and we're just going to pop glue on the tops of these squares that we've made so this has got a slightly shiny surface but this glue will be fine with that bring it down and then bring that one up okay and just sliding it around just so i can get that glue right up to the edge there make sure you pull it right up so you get a really nice join okay get around to the next one again Make sure, oh gosh, I'm a bit too crazy there. And just bring that one down and then up and again, just sliding it around until I get it exactly where I need it. And just go around and do that on the other side as well. Okay, so now we've just got that nice kind of like tray ready to put all the purple card on. So now just burnish all of your score lines like so okay and then where we've got this one and a half inch piece here this is all of the side panels this bit here is the bit that's going to interlock on the top so you just want to cut down really neatly just down to that first score line there and then on this one here again cut nicely down the side and then just take a little notch off and just cut that piece out so we've created this little tab now on the side so again with this one just cut right down the middle and then again like so okay then we're going to pop some double-sided tape you can use red tape you can use your glue I'm going to just use some of this tear tape and it's half an inch wide so it fits perfectly in there like so make sure that's all down properly and then just remove the backing I'm just going to fold over the top bit there where it's overhanging and again I'll do that one in a minute and you just want to sit just going to turn it upside down line up the score lines that's the most important bit because if you're slightly off at the bottom here we can trim it and you won't see that but just make sure that the, the top there is all nicely lined up okay flip the whole thing over pop that one down and this one down take your backing off again there you go. i'm having a real fight with that tape today <laughs> okay so again line up the score line and then the rest will all fall in nicely like so okay so now we've got this piece and then this will all now interlock on top of each other like so okay so now we can get this all stuck down so again I'm using my glue and you just want to come up 
this is one and a half inches deep. So with your ruler, I'm just going to do it by eye, but if you would rather, there's one and a half inches, and just do a pen, thin pencil line all the way along, and you know that you can glue within that bottom area then. But I'm going to just run my glue just roughly an inch, like so. Concentrate on the real corner there so it sticks nicely in your box. But I'm not going up any higher than about an inch and that will be fine. Okay. Like so. You grab your base. Get this top here. And then what you want to do is push all of the pieces in like that so you're creating that shape. It will then fall into your base perfectly and let it out and then push, make sure it's pushed right down, okay, so it's right to the bottom there, and just go round and push each side onto your box. And then we can grab our ruler and just go and spread that all out. You might have a little crease, just spread that crease out, but it will all fit in there really nice and snug. Got a little bit of glue. I've got one of these rubbers here which are great to rub off any glue so I can go around once that's completely dry. And now we've got, you can see that really nice box coming together. Absolutely love this, it's so cute. So now we can decorate. So I've already done two and I'm going to grab this one here and then with that scrap piece of card and I've got some double sided tape here which will just fit two more of these um, little squares. So take off one of the backings and I'm going to just sit it on my scrap piece of card. Put the backing back over that piece just so I can save it because that will work for something. Okay, like so. Now if you're just using double sided tape, what you would do is just go along and just run strips of it right up against each other like so to cover whatever area of card it is that you've got to then put your die cut over the top because you want to be able to basically now going to die cut this twice on here and then we're going to put our foil over the top so you don't need to worry about taking the backing off yet grab my die machine I'm just going to make sure I get that right up to the edge And then run that through. You want to run it through a couple of times just because obviously it's it's got to go through those two. Oh, you can see how tough it is. This is such a good little machine. But you want to make sure, see, it needs to go through again because it's cutting through two pieces of plastic, um, you know, sticky plastic. So I'm just going to run that one through. It's a bit easier the second time. I'll go back again. Confident that one's gone through. Yeah, so I can see now that comes out perfectly. And then just take that out like so. And then just push out all of those little pieces like that. So now I've got a little die cut which has got my double sided tape on it. Okay. And that's ready to put the foil on. Now you can put the foil on, you could have peel, peeled all of that off and put the foil on first, but I just find that then you might get your die, the metal on the die can be quite hard against that foil and it might scratch it. Um, so that's why I like to do it afterwards. So then again, pop that one on and I'm just going to run this one through again. Okay, so that's both of my little die cuts, beautiful die cuts, really like these. Like, really like these. <laughs> Grab your foil, so obviously you can use any colour you want. If you don't have gold foil and you want to do this box, you can still do it with just gold or silver um, Marie card. That would be, you'd get just the same effect. It's just fun to use different pieces. So I'll just cut a little strip there, just so it fits over it. Doesn't matter if it doesn't, because you can kind of dab over um, you know, it doesn't all need to be from one 
area of the foil. So just take off your backing and then I'm just going to lie the foil over the top. Just rub your fingers over it. It's just like the, the rubbing um, rub-on stickers and things like that. And the more you rub it and eventually you'll see all the gold underneath transfer onto that double-sided tape and it will start to lift. So I can see now it's lifting off and it's just leaving a clear plastic. Don't worry if it doesn't lift off of every area because it would have still taken. But if I now peel that off, you can see, you get that lovely piece. And then what you can do is just go over and if you feel on it that it's a little bit sticky still, you might have missed an area, you can just go over like so. I really love this technique and I've done a really good tutorial um, about foiling with double sided tape and I'll share that link as well for you. But now you can just see, got that really nice little die cut. So again, just take your backing off. So again, if you've got double sided tape um, on here now, you just have to take each kind of strip off. But as long as that whole area is covered, if you don't cover it all, um, and you think, oh, I've missed some, just grab some tacky glue. It needs to be a tacky glue, so once it's dry, it's still got a tacky, um, you know, to touch texture. So like Tombow, Alina's tacky glue. Um, there's the Nuvo stick as well, which I've used, that one there. The glue pen, that dries tacky. They're all really good as well. So if you've missed any pieces, or you don't have double-sided tape, Cover your die cut in the tacky glue, let it dry so it's tacky, and then you can apply your foil. So again, you can see there, if there's just any areas that I think I've missed, I can just go over it. So there you go, now I've got those four really nice gold, and they have got a texture, they've got a bit of a rough, it's quite kind of like, almost like a patina, um, aged, vintage, that kind of look to it. So yeah, it just gives a completely different um, finish. So now we can get these stuck onto the top. So if you want to go around and fold, so to fold this you do one, two, three, and then the last one you have to lift up that first one and pop it under and it just gives you that effect there. And now I've done it so that these are one inch so they perfectly sit within the little squares that you have. So I'm just going to go around and stick each one down. Okay, so now you can see how gorgeous. It's got a real opulent, luxurious um, look about it now. I really like that. And then just to finish it off, I have got these embellishments here. So I'm just going to cut off four of them there. And what I tend to do with the bigger ones as well is put a little bit of glue on the back. Um, again, not too much, but it just... Um, just means, oh gosh, just means they're gonna definitely obviously stay there, stuck down. And these fit perfectly in the middle. So I'm just gonna pop one in all of those. Okay, so there you have it. A really lovely interlocking Moroccan themed gift box. So I think it's a nice twist on a normal square. I've got to rub that bit of glue off there. On a normal square gift box. Um, but I think they look absolutely fab. Love them. So there you go. So I hope this has um, inspired you. I hope you like the um, style that I've come up with today. Um, if you are interested in the Hobby Base kit, um, all of those links, as I mentioned before, will be shared in the description box below. But until then, um, happy crafting. Give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel to see more. Thanks for watching. Bye.